Hey guys, Josh here from Mobile Tech Videos with our second installment of the weekly ROM review. Uh, we had good success with our first installment of uh, Perception uh, going from build 9.5 to build 10. Today the ROM of the week choice is Phoenix. We'll be reviewing Phoenix 2.5 which will be on the left, uh, going to Phoenix 3.0 which is on the right. So let's go ahead and get involved and turn both phones on and talk about a little bit of both of them. So we got our AT&T screens there. We've got the same boot animation uh, for Phoenix on both phones. So I'll let those go ahead and get started up. Um, before we begin, I'll talk a little bit about the background. Uh, both these ROMs are built on the JPY 2.2.1 uh, uh, Android source, which means that we'll see the very latest that Froyo has to offer. Um, obviously we still have the Phoenix Rising boot screens with the uh, pulsating uh, logos, so nothing's changed there. Both phones are still running Firebird kernels, uh, so that means that we're going to be no overclocked, no undervolting on these two ROMs today. So we'll be showing you a, an out of the box type of look. We flashed stock JF6 firmware and then flashed to 2.5 on this one and 3.0 on this one. So we're dealing with phones that have zero files. Uh, the only thing they've had is four apps installed. As we can see, both animations were still there. And right off the bat, we'll notice that the uh, wallpapers have changed. We've got the, uh, the softer uh, Phoenix uh, wallpaper on this side versus the Fire-esque type wallpaper on this side. So there's a closer view of each of those. There's the 3.0 out of the box, 2.5 out of the box. And we'll show you the, the apps that we've chosen are uh, Linpack, Ninamark, Neocore, and as always, we've got our advanced tascular on the side. So that is on both phones. And one thing that we'll notice right off the bat is there's been a lot of XML work done to the framework. Uh, so a lot of work went into uh, re-theming the 3.0, and personally I like it much better. Uh, you'll notice that the icons are the same, the launchers are the same, but we can see that the uh, the Google search at the top is kind of blacked out on the 2.5. Um, so, and and we'll notice that on the 3.0 that it's it's the original white. It really makes it easier to show up. One other framework change that they made that I like a lot better. You can't even hardly read that. I never did understand this, and I, I didn't really care for this. They kind of themed over the uh, default settings button, whereas on 3.0 we've got uh, a much more readable white background um, the buttons are actually readable on this so uh, both ROMs still working with the uh, gingerbread type launcher so you'll experience no changes from that uh, one thing to note is our base memory so let's go ahead and kill some apps here okay we've got 191 free on 2.5 and 192 free on 3.0, so about the same out of the box on available RAM. Um, in addition to this and some of the other framework changes, we'll notice a much sleeker, uh, more attractive dialer, in my opinion, on 3.0. Uh, the 3.0 has the orange accented buttons with the green accent for the call. Um, in addition to this, we've got the uh, the black buttons on the 2.5 ROM, and um, you know that's a big change there. So I, I really think it's more aesthetically pleasing on the dialer uh, for this particular ROM. So go back home to the home screen on that and run our advanced task killers. And uh, another thing I wanted to mention is that both ROMs are carrying the um, the lock screen changer. So if we went to display on each device, we'd see that we have our lock screens. Love the animations by the way. We see that we still have the lock screens on both uh, choices for Android, Samsung, Puzzle, and Epic. So we'll go back home on those. In addition to uh, what we've talked about so far, um, we can see that uh, the Wi-Fi module has actually been updated on 3.0. We've now got the JPA build Wi-Fi module, so it's going to resolve a few issues such as bugs and hang-ups that we may have experienced. Both kernels uh, are Firebird, so they both support backlight notification applications. Both ROMs are running BLN control free. Uh, both phones have the same amount of uh, default apps installed uh, straight out of the flash. Um, the swipe theming is something I wanted to discuss. They've really upped the ante on the, the swipe theme. So if we wanted to look at the, uh, the keyboard on each, 
we see the original swipe keyboard there, and we've got this real cool looking uh, one for 3.0. It's the uh, the white text with the orange for numbers, and personally that looks much much better, and I like that a lot better. So that's a that's a big change there. I do like that touch. So congrats on whoever was responsible for that. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the about phone so we can review some changes there. So if we go to settings and then we'll go to about phone at the bottom, we can see on the 2.5 that we are working with uh, 2.5 at the bottom, same kernel for Firebird build number 29. Uh, one change that we had on 2.5, we were using the JK4 modem, whereas on the 3.0 phone, we of course had uh, Phoenix 3.0 at the bottom. Also, we've mentioned Firebird number 29 build, but we're using the JL3 modem, so uh, this particular ROM works slightly better with the JL3, so you may notice some slight advantages uh, regarding the network. So let's go ahead and skip into a couple of uh, tests, as we'll always show you the speed test for here. So we'll go ahead and do lint packs on both phones. And let's go ahead, one, two, three. Run our benchmarks. Let's see if I can get some zoom going on there. So after the results, we've got a 14.1 for the 2.5 and a 14.2 for the 3.0. Run it one more time. So we're seeing a, a slight speed advantage right now on the uh, 3.0 Phoenix. So we've got about a 14.4 and a 14.1. So uh, Phoenix. 3.0 has slightly outwitted uh, the uh, 2.5 version, so that's good. We see a little more native speed. I'm not sure if that was intended or not, but somehow or another after the development, we get a little more speed out of the Linpack test. Do a Ninemark for graphics purposes. Zoom back out so we can see this. Okay, for our Ninemark, we'll do a run. And of course, I missed the top phone, so we'll have to wait for that one gotta love that audio yeah, if you didn't know Ninomark is a good uh, frame per second OpenGL tool to test graphics in addition to this we're also going to be using NeoCore which practically does the same thing it's just a baseline that people like to see so we always run our Linpack, NeoCore and Ninomark we typically like to run Quadrant, but Quadrant is having some major issues with the Firebird kernel uh, or possibly the 2.2.1 architecture. So we're having some uh, difficulty showing you Quadrant-based scores. But uh, So we've got a 50.3 for the 3.0 and a 50.2 for the uh, 2.5. So not too bad, practically the same. You're going to see about the same as well when we run the uh, test for NeoCore. So we'll run that test real quick. Say run. Okay, and we'll run these one, two, three. Got those on the same. And let me get you a little zoomed in here. If you've never seen these, these are actually pretty cool. But um, bear with me. What we're doing this for scores, there's no way to expedite this, so I wanted to show you both. Make you feel like you're watching some kind of animated movie. And we're about to be done, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out. So we got a 55.4 on 2.5 and a 55.6, so once again, slight advantage to the 3.0 ROM. So that's good, that's great. That means that we're getting slightly more speed and a, a slightly better OpenGL test from that. Um, one other thing to discuss that I wanted to hit on, on uh, were the bugs. There's no haptic comb button feedback, of course, on the 2.2.1 uh, JPY based builds. That's a well known. You're going to see that in any ROM that utilizes that build source. Uh, the buttons don't light up on touch like they do on a many uh, of the other ROMs. Uh, that's also a 2.2.1 problem. And you'll also notice that the camera has this button uh, for um, a front-facing camera. You don't want to press that. It's just going to crash the camera app. 
So we can see that this button up here at the top left, if we pressed it, we're going to get a camera failed problem and it's just going to close the camera. So don't touch that. Um, and I'm not sure if it has any other consequences, but obviously it crashes the camera, so you don't want to touch that during the middle of a picture. That needs to happen right away, so that'll crash the camera. And last but not least, really cool feature here for 3.0. Remember, 3.0 is on the right. We're going to show you the power off animation. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I uh, just wanted to hit on this. So if we do a power off, check out the right screen. We've got the CRT off style. And uh, it kind of mimics the uh, what, what's coming up with Gingerbread 2.3. If anyone's seen that, check out my Gingerbread 2.3 video to, to see more on that. But the, uh, the power off is absolutely beautiful. So it's got the CRT look and feel to it. And uh, props to whoever designed that. So overall, I think it's an absolutely great addition to the Phoenix Archives. Uh, I think it's highly um, suitable for a flash. I think if you have 2.5, you definitely uh, should consider upgrading because it, it's a... It's got a lot more going for it on the framework. The XML has really had some dev work on it, and um, it's it's much more aesthetically pleasing in terms of swipe, uh, the notifications menus, and uh, and many other changes that really kind of make this ROM stand out, as well as the uh, the core features like Wi-Fi modules being updated and uh, the modem switching to JL3 from JK4. So, all in all, I think it's a great job. I, I appreciate the ROM developer for. For keep dishing out these uh, these updates for this particular series, and I'm sure everyone else in the Captivate community does as well. Uh, this has been another weekly ROM review brought to you by Mobile Tech Videos. Check us out at mobiletechvideos.com. Be sure to browse around the site. We're working on building that up and uh, getting more content for you daily. I'll be working on the download section pretty soon to give you uh, a lot of Clockwork Mod flashable packages, all the DG ROMs and uh, basically a big repository for you to be able to download stuff. Check out our YouTube channel as well, and feel free to browse through the videos. And uh, we do appreciate subscriptions. That really means a lot to us uh, to know that you appreciate the constantly updated content. So uh, if you do appreciate it, please subscribe. We really do appreciate that as well as your views. Uh, so, you know, this has been uh, Mobile Tech Video's presentation. We thank you for stopping by. And as always, if you're ready to flash, good luck.